Hi everyone, and thanks for joining us today for our session on the 2020 Data Drivers Award winners. I'm excited to be here today with you. I'm Elise Bergeron, Vice President of Product Marketing for Snowflake. These awards are intended to recognize companies and individuals who are using Snowflake's data cloud to drive innovation and impact in their organizations. Before we start our conversations, I wanna quickly congratulate all of our award winners. First in the business awards, our data driver of the year is Cisco. Our machine learning master is Uniper. Our data sharing leader is Rakuten. Our data application of the year is Observe and our Data for Good award goes to DoorDash. For the individual and team awards, we first have Vikas Jain, Chief Digital Officer of PACAR. We have Amish Amin, Director of Cybersecurity and Data Science, winning our Data Science Manager of the Year award at Comcast. For our Data Pioneer of the Year, we have Faisal KP, who's our Senior Manager of Enterprise Data Services at Pizza Hut. And lastly, we have our best data team going to McKesson, led by Jimmy Herf, data and analytics platform leader. Huge congratulations to all of these winners. It was very difficult to pick them amongst an amazing set of nominations. So now let's dive into our conversations. We'll start with the data driver of the year. Representing Cisco today is Ravi Amamuthu, Director of Data Platform, Data and Analytics. Let me welcome everybody to the wonderful uh, webinar. A few years before, Cisco used to be a company you know, in making the decisions partly with the data and partly with the guts because you know, the data is stored in multiple places, the threading is not done right and things like that. So we you know, really understood you know, what was a challenge in the organization by then and we defined the data strategy uh, and we put a you know, few plans in place and it is working very well. But what is more important is basically how we provide the data to our data scientists and the data community in Cisco and making them available in a highly available, scalable and elastic platforms. That's where you know, Snowflake came into picture really very well for us along with the other data strategies that we have had in place. More importantly, data democratization was a key you know, along with the simplifications of the technologies involved. In the past, our clients need to be worrying a lot about the technologies involved. You know, for example, we used to manage Hadoop before we migrated to Snowflake. And, and Snowflake, you know, solved all of these problems for us with the ease. And it really helped in enabling a data, data-driven organization and system. In the data sharing leaders category, Rakuten was our winner. We have Mark Stang Tregeer, VP of Analytics here to share their story. I want to thank Snowflake for the award, and it's an honor to be here today. The ease of use of Snowflake has allowed projects to move forward, innovation to move forward in a way that it simply couldn't have done on old Hadoop systems or, or, or other platforms. And I think the, true, the same is true um, for us on a lot of those similar topics, but also in the data sharing space. Data sharing is a part of innovation, uh, like I think most other tech companies. We work with certainly our business partners, merchants, but also with a range of other um, service providers and other technology vendors um, and other companies that we strategically share data with to make benefit of their service or to, or to allow data modeling or advanced data co collaboration or strategic business deals using the data and evaluated with the data. And I think if you look pre-Snowflake, you would see a lot of time and effort and money going to just establishing that data connection. That often involved substantial investments in technology, data pipelines, risk evaluation, hashing, encrypt encryption, security. And what we've found with Snowflake sharing functionality is that we can not eliminate those concerns, um, but that the technology just supports the ability to share data securely, easily, quickly, in a way that we could never do previously. Now we have a really inspiring winner of the Data for Good Award, DoorDash, with their Project Dash initiative. Here to speak about their work is Akshat Nair, Engineering Manager. Thank you to Snowflake for recognizing us for this initiative. 
Um, so for those of you who don't know, DoorDash is a logistics technology platform company uh, that connects people with the best in their cities. And Project Dash, our flagship social impact program, uses the DoorDash logistics platform to tackle the challenges like hunger and food waste. It was launched in 2018, and over the first two years in partnership with food recovery organizations, we powered uh, the delivery of over 2 million pounds of surplus food from businesses to hunger relief agencies across the US and Canada. And recently due to COVID, a tremendous need has emerged. We were able to uh, power the delivery of an estimated 5.8 million meals to food insecure communities and frontline workers across 48 states. And 3.5 million of these meals have been delivered since March. We do all of our analysis for our business functions from like product development to sales and to social impact in Snowflake. And the numbers I just provided here actually have come from Snowflake and we have used it to provide various forms of reporting to our, to our government and nonprofit partners. And with Snowflake, we can help them understand the impact, analyze trends and ensure compliance in cases where we are supporting um, efforts through agencies like FEMA or USDA. And lastly, our team is really excited to be recognized by Snowflake for using uh, data for good. It has uh, reminded us to continue doubling down on our commitment to using our product and expertise to partner with communities we operate in. Thank you again. The winner of the Machine Learning Master's Award is Uniper Energy. Volo Sorokuma, Data Innovation Leader, is here on behalf of Uniper. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me here. It's really a pleasure, and we, we are really proud to get this award. It means a lot for Uniper. It's a huge recognition for our efforts since last couple of years uh, as part of our journey and also a celebration of, uh, of our success. Now, for Uniper, it would not be uh, possible to start looking at uh, advanced analytics techniques not having a solid data foundation in place. And that's uh, where we invested a lot in our cloud data platform in the cloud backed uh, by Snowflake. Having this uh, platform allowed us to uh, employ advanced analytics techniques, uh, combining data uh, from market, from fundamental data, different other sources of data like weather and extracting new trends, new signals that uh, basically help us to partly or even in some cases fully uh, automate some trading strategy. And we believe this will be really fundamental uh, for, for the future of trading in our company and we will definitely invest in this area in the future. Our data application of the year is Observe. Observe is recognized as the most innovative data-driven application built on Snowflake. And representing Observe today is their CEO, Jeremy Burton. Let me just echo the thanks from the other folks on the call. I mean, Snowflake's separation of storage compute, uh, I can't overstate what a really big deal it is. Um, it means that we can ingest and store data really for the price of uh, Amazon S3. And we're in a category where vendors have historically charged for volume of data ingested. So you can imagine this really represents huge uh, savings. Um, in addition, and maybe on a more technical note, Snowflake's elastic architecture really enables us to direct queries appropriately uh, based on the complexity of the query. So small queries or simple queries we can direct to extra small warehouses and complex queries we can direct to, you know, 4XL or I think even a 6XL is, is either there or, or on its way. The, the key thing there is that users are not sitting around waiting for results to appear regardless of the query complexity. So, I mean, really the separation of storage compute and the, the elastic architecture is, is a really big deal for us. Turning to the Data Pioneer of the Year Award, I'm excited to be here with Faisal KP, Senior Manager of Enterprise Data Services from Pizza Hut. First of all, thank you, Snowflake, uh, for giving this wonderful present. I think it means a lot for us uh, in terms of validating what we are doing. I think we were one of the earlier adapters of Snowflake. We saw the vision of Snowflake, you know, storage versus compute separation and all the goodies, right? Right from back in 2017, I believe. What Snowflake enabled us is to actually enable, you know, get the scale with very little manpower, which is needed to man the entire system. So on the Super Bowl day, we have, you know, the entire crew, literally a boardroom where the, right from the CMOs to the CEOs to all the IT folks will be sitting and watching 
what is happening in the system. And we have to do a, a lot of real-time analytics uh, during that time. So with Snowflake, you know, we, you know, we use the elasticity of the platform. We use, uh, you know, platform, you know, there are solutions like Snowpipe you know, to basically automate the uh, data ingestion coming through various channels from the e-commerce, from the stores, everything simultaneously. So as soon as the program is done, you know, we can scale, scale down to our normal volume which means we can, you know, we, we can save a lot of costs. So definitely Snowflake has been game changer for us in terms of how we provide real-time analytics. Our systems are used uh, by, you know, thousands of uh, restaurants uh, throughout the country and, uh, you know, by hundreds of franchises. So the scale is something we have achieved with, uh, with a lot of agility and success. In the category of Data Science Manager of the Year Award, we have a mission in. Director of Cybersecurity and Data Science at Comcast. So thank you for having me and thank you for this wonderful award. So one of the biggest challenges you see in the cybersecurity space is the tremendous amount of data that we have to compute every day to find the needle in the haystack. So one of the big challenges we overcame with by utilizing Snowflake was how do we go from, like my other counterparts on the panel have said, the operational overhead of maintaining a large data store and move to more of results driven and data focused environment. And you know, part of that journey was really the tremendous leadership at Comcast saying, you know, we want to improve our day-to-day -day lives by relying less on operational work and more on answering questions. And so, you know, over the last year, we've really put Snowflake at the center of our ecosystem, knowing that it's an elastic platform and its ability to scale infinitely has given us the ability to dream big and use it to drive cybersecurity. And while it's not traditionally used for cybersecurity, we're starting to see the benefits right away. And the beauty of the Snowflake ecosystem is we're now able to enable folks that not traditionally have big data skills, but they have standard SQL skills, and they can still work in the Snowflake platform. So, you know, the transition to the cloud has been very powerful for us as an organization. But I think the end story, the real takeaway is by moving our cybersecurity operation to the cloud, we're now been able to enable more people and get the results that we're looking for. And, you know, as other people have said, fast. You know, people hate to wait. So the scale of Snowflake really shines. Now let's hear from our Data Executive of the Year, Vikas Jain, Chief Digital Officer of Packard. Thank you very much, Snowflake, for this really incredible recognition and honor of the work we're doing at Packard. We, we began the first step in this process was for us to develop an enterprise-grade data platform in the cloud capable of managing every aspect of data at scale. This, this platform includes Snowflake as our analytics data warehouse, amongst many other technologies that we used for ingestion of data, data processing, uh, data governance, uh, transactional uh, needs, and others. So, this platform, once developed, has really helped us leverage data across the broad Packard systems and applications globally very efficiently and is enabling Packard as a result to enhance every aspect of its business with data. A big congratulations again to all of the winners of the 2020 Data Drivers Awards. Thanks so much for joining us for a great conversation, and we hope that you enjoy the rest of the Data Cloud Summit.